Hey y'all, it's Katie. Welcome back to From My Vanity and welcome to the Shop My Stash for May. I cannot believe we are in May already. Time is crawling by and just flying by at the same time too. But anyway, it is May and it is time to shop my stash. So we are going to be going through this tower right here, which is my everyday makeup drawer. And we're going to be switching out the makeup and just getting some fresh new stuff to have options for for the month of May. Before we go to get some makeup to put into these drawers, I first like to go through what is left over in these drawers from the past month and kind of go through them if I'm going to keep them another month or if I'm going to put them back. If you see stuff missing in here from my last shop my stash, which would be shop my stash for April, the reason they're no longer in there is because because I mentioned them in either my makeup fails for the month or my makeup favorites for the month. I'll link one of those videos up here and then the other one you can find, you'll find both of the links in the description box, but I do do a end of the month kind of review video sharing all the products that impressed me and all the products that didn't. And once I review them there, I go ahead and just put them into my makeup collection. So this is everything else that I didn't mention in those two videos that we're gonna go through today. Also too, before we dive in, my nails were done by my daughter. She is four years old and she wanted to paint mommy's nails. So she chose red. I think she did a pretty good job, but they're still a little messy because she just did them yesterday. And so there's a little bit of just, I don't know, messiness around the cuticle. So please excuse that, but at least they're red and painted because I haven't had time to do them in forever. So anyway, just want to explain that before we dive in, but let's go ahead and get to it. Okay. So in here I have a lot of products and honestly, let's see, most of it is going to be staying just because I didn't get a chance to do it. I'm going to be putting my Moxie liner now that I've kind of reviewed all of the magnetic liners that I have currently in my collection. I do want to get Get another brand what is it called glamnetics and then I'll compare it but for now I'm just gonna put it over here I'll put it with like my lash glue and vamp stamp and stuff like that I feel like that's a good home for it but everything else in here I really haven't been able to give it a fair try this one I did use I'm gonna go ahead and put this back I'm not someone who's gonna use this often but I do like the formula I got that just to have a different type of purple glitter glue but I'm gonna put that with the rest of my liquid glitters um this I'm still testing this I'm still testing butter London sent them over to me halfway through the month so I really haven't had much time with them. This is almost all used up, but I feel like I can get a little bit more use out of it, so that's going to stay. I didn't get to try the brow and or ink and inked brow, sorry, uh, at all this past month. So I'm going to leave that in there as well as this. I feel like I've been ignoring the brow products in here because I've been working on panning this, but this is over at the end of the month. And I'm going to try to make it a point of at least testing these out and then I can continue on with this and, you know, finish it out. And then once I'm done, I won't have to worry about trying to pan this, but I don't know, I've just been reaching for this more and I keep forgetting about these, or I'm in just such a hurry, I only grab this to run through my brows and I call it a day. I am gonna put the Mellow Tinted uh, Brow Gel, just because it's so similar to this one, I'm gonna put that away and uh, just focus on using this up and finishing it up, because I do feel like it's either, I'm using it up or it's just drying out, it's just not as pigmented as it was, so I'm gonna focus on this and get the rest of my use out of it. And then these two mascaras are staying in there as well because I really focused on the Benefit Bad Gal Bang and didn't really get to try these this month. Um, this is a new one, but this is just a rediscovered love, but I didn't get to use it too much this past month. So everything in here is staying. Oh yeah. And then this is a, a multitasking mixing medium. I think I used it once, but I need to leave it in there. I have some products in this drawer that I'm going to use that with and hopefully test it out. Moving over to this drawer. Let's see. I'm going to leave the lip products because these lip products, I really didn't get to try them out, but all of this, I think I am going to be putting away. I already have a feel for Ofra's liquid lipstick formula. I like it. The only con I would say for me personally is I wish it was more non-transferring. Like whenever I wear these, it's very comfortable. It's matte. It's long wearing. But if I kiss my children, it gets on them. So that's the only con for me. And then these, I'm just going to put them back and I'll pick some other uh, concealers for the month. I really enjoyed being able to use all these. I definitely still really love and recommend these two. These two, I can get them to work. And I feel like if I had to pick one of these, I'd go with the L'Oreal Infallible. I just felt like it is easier to blend and it's not quite as drying and doesn't crease as much as the e.l.f. But overall, if I take enough time with the e.l.f., that can also last pretty well too and doesn't crease too badly. Overall though, I'm gonna keep them and you know get good use out of them. They're just not my preference. If I had to pick a concealer that I wanted to look my best and depend on the best, I'd pick one of these. This is like full coverage. This is more um, sheer coverage or not sheer coverage because it still does give full coverage. I wouldn't call it like as intense as this. So that's why this is when I want full coverage. This is when I want lighter. But anyway, putting all these back, grabbing some new ones. This drawer doesn't have too much in it. I just had these two highlighters just to get some more use out of them. After a month of using them, I still really like the Amrezy highlighter. And this one actually, it's very 
very pretty, but compared to all the highlighters I had, which I had this one, I had the Lethal Isotope Highlighter, and then I had the uh, Samantha March and Ofra Highlighter. And out of all four, this was like the most subdued one, but it still is really nice, but it definitely was more for my natural days, but it's still very beautiful. But I'm gonna put these back and just grab some something different to use for the next month. This concealer can now go with my eye bases because I like this white base and I like it a lot more than the cut crease canvas. So I'll be putting that in there. And then these are the only two things that are left in there. This is a loose pigment multi-chrome from MBA Cosmetics. And then this is like a multi-chrome flaky from Kristen Lee Cosmetics. And I didn't use either of them this past month. Moving on to this drawer. Let's see. I feel like most of it's going back. None of this is brand new except this one. So all of these I have used before. I really enjoy them. And I just pulled them out to get some more use out of them. But I am going to put them back and pick something else for this next month. These are the brushes that the Benefit boxed uh, blush and uh, bronzers come with. I'm just going to start them probably for my daughter to play with. I'm never going to use them. I didn't get to use this so that's staying in here and then this is staying in there because it's part of my project pan. And then for this drawer I am going to be putting this in this back. It was just nice to get some more use out of them. I really like both of them. This one I'm going to leave in one more month. I just never really reached for it and I want to try and reach for it. I opted for the Bare Minerals one when I wanted a powder foundation uh, this past month so I'm going to leave it in here see if I can use it. And same story with this. I used it a couple more times this month but still haven't got my full thoughts on it so that's staying in there. And then for this last drawer, let's see, these are all going to be going back in. I really enjoyed getting to use them again. I feel like all of them I can make work. I would definitely say if I had a least favorite, it'd probably be shape tape. I don't know. I was very careful when I use these and only use a little bit. I'm wearing this one today and I think it's nice. It still does settle into the lines, but I feel like all of them do. But using a more moisturizing base, I, I like them both. I mean, I'll use them. They're not my absolute favorite when it comes to foundations, but they work nicely and they hold up decently well and they definitely give me nice coverage, so... Moving on to the rest of the stuff, I didn't get to try either of these at all this month. And then this I can put back. I just grabbed it because one of the foundations was a little too dark. This one I only started using towards the end of the month, but I think I've used it four times at this point. I think this is the most like worthwhile pore filling primer I've ever tried. Like when I use this, I can actually tell a difference that my pores are more blurred and smooth. But like I said, I've only done it four times. So I want to use it a couple more times to really get my thoughts on it. But if I continue to like it, you're definitely going to see this in my monthly favorites because... I couldn't believe how nicely it smoothed my pores and how nicely it held up throughout the day. So really excited to continue testing this. And then this also I think I've used three times. I can't really give much thoughts on it. Uh, it doesn't do anything bad to my foundation, but I want to continue testing it to see exactly what it does and if it's a worthwhile, if it's a worthwhile step. All right, shifting focus up here. Oh, I should mention uh, the red is not a cut on my hand. These two, I should say, it's markers. Uh, we were, uh, you know, doing coloring earlier. This is a cut. That's my little four month old. He's got sharp little nails. But anyway, I just wanted to clarify that. Um, I just used this for the first time this morning. So this is going to stay up there because I need to use it some more. Please let me know in the comments. Do you guys want a three looks one palette? I'm not planning on doing a three looks one palette just because I feel like this isn't a new palette. But I don't know. This color story really intrigues me. So I'd love to hear if you want to see three looks and my review a dedicated video on that so please give me feedback in the comments on that this is a magnetic palette from Menagerie Cosmetics. I put this color story together to test this out and I was able to use it a couple times. It was ColourPop's Neon Press Shadow. This is in 000. I wouldn't say that this is like neon, but it's definitely a nice vibrant coral type of shade. It was very pretty. Um, is it as intense as the neon like Lemire loose pigments? No, but it's nice. Um, but I am going to go ahead and stick this back with my other uh, single shadows. Just because I've used it, I got my thoughts on it. So it's, it's time to go back and just focus on other palettes this month. And last up, this palette is put together to mainly try these shades up here, this is the Kristen Lee Cosmetics uh, Mean Green Collection. I am going to be trying that this month. This is definitely going to be first on the list. But then I just started adding other colors that I was wanting to try or other colors that I really enjoyed. And I needed a bigger palette, so I grabbed this Juvia's Place Eyeshadow Magnetic Palette. So this big guy is one I'm going to reach for to hopefully create some fun looks with these colors up here. And then as I already mentioned, all of this up here is for my Project Painting Challenge. So let's go over and pick some new makeup. All right, so this is a really weird angle, but I'm trying to block the mess that I have going on underneath here. I'm kind of getting things ready for a giveaway if you want to stay tuned, a little hint hint there. But anyway, let's just get into what we have going here. 
I just got this in the mail, but I'm definitely grabbing it because I got a couple of DMs when I shared about it on Instagram saying that people really wanted to see what I thought about this. So I'm going to pull this out and give it a try this month. I'm also going to be grabbing this. This is from Beauty Creations and it's a collab with Annette69 and it is a highlighter. So I want to give this a try because this was the one product that I was actually excited about in my last uh, Tribe Beauty Box unboxing. I also just recently got the new Benefit Georgia blush and once again, I got a lot of DMs saying like, oh, can't wait to hear what you think about it. So I'm going to be putting this to test. I feel like I should also grab the Milani Luminoso blush because I feel like they look pretty close. And then I'm also going to grab this CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream. I've been holding off on it just because I feel like it'll be better for when I'm oilier and it's hotter, but I'm just so curious about this. I want to give it a try, so I'm picking it for this month. And if it doesn't work well for my drier normal skin, I'll hold it for when I'm oilier. And last up, I'm going to grab this Nude Sticks Tinted Cover Foundation. I've been so curious about this. Okay, moving on to the next drawer. Um, I have lashes right here from a new brand. A friend of mine on Instagram just opened up a beauty, uh, what's it called? Beauty by a Bird, I think. I'll leave her Instagram link down below, but this is her first collection of lashes and it's the Sweet Treats collection. And I decided to pick a pair up for me and then one for a giveaway. So yeah, I'm gonna grab these to try. This is in Cake Pop. Better London also sent me this Icona Class Infinite Lacquer Liner. I wanna try it out, especially since I have the other one already going, but I'm really curious how these two compare. So pulling this. I'm going to grab this glitter from MBA Cosmetics. This is their Bling It On liquid glitter. I'm wanting to see if I like it more just because it kind of reminds me of like the Stila glitter and glows and I tend to like that formula. It's just less messy for me to apply. So pulling this. And then very last, a brand sent me this a long time ago and I just haven't got around to trying it, but it is magnetic lashes and it's supposed to just use these little tabs to connect them. Um, I don't know if that'll work just because I've tried the sandwich type of magnetic lashes a bunch of times and that never worked, but with it being little, you know, little sections, maybe it'll work better. I don't know. I'm intrigued to try it, but then also I thought I could just try this with my Moxie liner to see how I like that and maybe that'll work better for me. But anyway, it's been sitting in here way too long. I need to get it and try it and see if I actually like it and if I don't just pass it along get it out of my collection okay nothing too much in here back here is just like random stuff that I keep uh this is for like my the my tripod and the thing that holds up my phone that's what all that random stuff for and then also to nail my whiteboard into the wall but anyway I am going to be picking up one of these because I did actually finish one of them so this is in rich Num nutmeg can I speak today and then what? I can't read upside down. Cinnamon spice. There's the two colors if you're curious. One's just a little more pink leaning. One's a little more nude leaning. Um, I'm trying to think. I feel like the one I did was more pink leaning. I'm going to grab this one. This is Rich Nutmeg just to do something a little bit different than what I've had. And honestly, if I'm, you know, using this and I wish I had something more pink, I'll just come back and grab this. I, I like them. They last a long time and I don't mind having more than one open. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to grab this one. Okay, for palettes, I just have this one and it is full of M Cosmetics shadows and a highlighter. She also sent me this little sample highlighter. I thought that was so cute. Like, look how adorable and tiny that thing is. I love it. But anyway, I'm going to grab this to try out this month and see how I like their formula. All right, so that is going to be it for my new makeup. Not too much. As you can see, my palettes are empty. I do have a bunch of palettes that I've bought and that are on the way to me, but with everything that's happening, I don't know when I'm going to be getting them. So if they arrive in the mail, you know, sometime during the month and I don't have any new palettes, I'll definitely just go ahead and add them into my stash. But if they don't, then I am going to be reaching back into my collection and grabbing some other palettes that I love and have been wanting to revisit and get to use them. So I'm excited either way. If the new palettes show up, great. If not, I'm going to get to play around with older palettes. So now let's go over and pick out the rest of my makeup that I'm going to be using this month. All right, going to move the dirty brushes that I really do need to clean. Um, this is just my little, I guess I can show you guys. This is what I have in the morning to do like my morning skincare before I do my makeup. But anyway, this is what we're looking at. This is like the bulk of my makeup. Let me go check what I've picked and what I have already in my everyday makeup drawer. And then we'll kind of go through these and pick out some more. Okay, so I really don't have any foundations like full coverage to me, you know, medium coverage to full coverage, I guess I should say. But anyway, I'm going to grab these two. This is my Makeup Forever Ultra HD. And then this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I never thought to reach for this anymore so I'm curious to try it again and see if I still like full coverage foundations to the extent that this was so pulling these two for setting powders I'm going to grab these I have this one this is a pressed translucent powder and then this is my Maybelline fit me loose powder in the shade what shade is it fair light and then I'm also going to grab this from pretty vulgar it's in translucent I don't really remember what I think about this and anytime I look at it I don't know I'm not inspired or like oh yes I want to use that so I'm going to try it out this month to see if I still want to keep it in my collection and then these two are favorites I just want to use them some more 
I'm going to give this another try. This is the JCAD Aqua Insurance Compact Powder Foundation. The first time I tried this, I really didn't like it, but on the video that I reviewed this, I got some feedback of ways I can make it work, so I'm curious to give it a try again. For bronzers, I'm going to be trying these two. This cargo one is, I think I remember it being a really nice uh, contour. It's a little light, but we'll try it for a contour. If this doesn't work for a contour, I'll probably reach back for my Milani one. I really do like that one but then I also want to grab this this is NYX's matte bronzer in the shade is it medium um anytime I look at this I'm always like oh no I don't want to use that so I want to pull it out and give it a month's try to see if I want to keep it because if I look at it and I don't want to use it I feel like that's an indicator that it might be time to you know declutter this I'm not going to pick anything from my brow drawer because I got enough brows to test out this month and then for concealers, I'm going to grab these uh, just to get some more use out of them, mainly these two. I kind of feel like I've grown out of love with this, so I want to give it another try, see if it still is good. Um, this, I'm just going to continue using it because I really do love it. And then this, I'm going to reach for to see if I want to keep it in my collection or if I want to declutter it because I never want to reach for it. So I feel like I might just need to pass it along to someone else. And then for highlighters, I know this is excessive, but this is what I'm grabbing because, uh, let's see. This I want to try. It's from, in Prosecco Pop. I want to see if I even want to keep that in my collection. Same with the sleek makeup. I remember it being beautiful, but it didn't hold up on me. Like, it faded a lot throughout the day. So those two, I'm going to kind of see if I want to declutter them. And then these three, I remember loving these two. I think I like this one too, but I just want to get more use out of them. And then last up for blush, I'm going to grab my Luminoso, and I'm also going to grab this from uh, Pretty Vulgar. I'm getting pretty full in my, where is it, right there, my blush drawer, so I need to go through and see if I want to declutter any, because as it is, especially with the new, uh, especially with the new Benefit Box blushes I'm trying, I'm kind of full, so I need to see if there's any I want to declutter, and if I was to declutter any, it would be this one, so we will try it this month and see if I still like it. And then last up, I'm going to grab this Bare Minerals Bare Pro Contour Palette, since I don't have too much in the way of contour and bronzer in my drawer, and I never reach for my palettes, I'm going to get this out and show it some love. All right, so I think that's it. I feel like I didn't grab too much. So let's go put it back in and then that way I can kind of see as I put it away if I am missing anything that I want to reach for this month. All right, so that was by far the easiest time I've ever had of putting my new makeup away. But looking it over, I feel like I have a well-rounded supply of like makeup to use. So I'm just gonna leave it for now. And if towards the end of the month, I'm kind of getting bored with what's in here because I don't have a ton of new makeup to use. And if I'm not testing a product to review because it's brand new to my collection, I really like having options to be able to change things up on the daily. So if I get a little bored with what's in here or I just want something different and new, I'll just reach into my collection over there and just grab something. But per usual, let's just go ahead and run through the stack and I can show you guys how I organized it and what is in my drawers. Okay, first up I have my face drawer. Not too much in here, like not as much as I've had in previous months, I should say, but I have two type of foundations foundations and I have two sheer tints, like uh, tinted foundation type of products. This is more of, I guess, an SPF tinted anyway. And this is a BB cream and then I have, then I have my blurring primer, this, I don't even know what this is, just kind of illuminating, instant complexion refresh, whatever that means. And then I also have this from the last box charm it's a hydrating primer that I'm hopefully going to try out and use this month so that's what we got going there oh and real quick as you saw I just set this over to the side of my desk I'm not putting it in a drawer just because it's a little bit bulky and it is a sunscreen so I want to make sure I'm putting this on with my skincare so honestly that's probably where I'm going to keep it uh, from here on out uh, after I finish this video I'll just stick it over there with my morning skincare routine next up I have my powder drawer both for like setting and then also this is setting but then also powder foundations nothing too exciting or new here but I definitely do want to to try this out because I feel like this might be a little bit off for me I don't know we'll give it a try and see but yeah just I love these two really want to test this out get some use out of this and see if this is worth keeping this is probably the one spot I feel like I went overboard but if you really look at it the only things I'm testing are these three because everything else I've already tried before in the past so I'm just going to enjoy and get more use out of these products that I have already in my collection I did grab this as you guys saw to test and compare these two I really like this highlighter I love that highlighter too so just a lot of fun stuff in the drawer and then also just kind of determining if they're worth keeping in my collection
As you guys saw, the bronzer did not fit in that drawer, so I put him up here. This always ends up to be more of like the mix match type of drawer, but anyway, I got my bronzers, I got the magnetic lashes in here. Hopefully I won't forget to use them, and then I have false lashes, my mixing mediums that I'm gonna use with these two, and then my liquid glitter. This drawer is lips and uh, concealers, though honestly, I didn't even think about this, but this can probably fit in here just fine. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that because it just makes more sense in my head. So this is all I have for lips, not too much to try out. Um, I will say I tried this once. Oops, I did not mean to hit the camera, but I tried this once this past month and I had to take it off because this pink was so wrong for me. But I'm gonna try it one more time to see if I can make it work. And if the color just doesn't work for me, like I can't even try and review it for the formula's sake because the color looks so crazy on me. But I'm gonna try a lip liner, maybe a dark lip liner, I don't know, but whew, it was Barbie doll pink. And then last up for my drawers is this mascara and uh, brow product drawer. And yeah, I'm excited to give them a try. And then last up, even though this didn't really change that much, I have these two, I should say these two self-made palettes and then this one to try out this month. As I said, please let me know if you want to see a three looks, one palette video. Um, should I do a three looks, one palette video with the Mean Green collection? If I can open this back up. Should I do a three looks, one collection with these products? I'm just not sure if I should do that since I would have to use so many other type of singles but maybe I can try to just like feature them prominently on the lids because they're all shimmer shades I don't know I don't I wasn't really expecting to or planning to do a three looks with the, that collection but if that would be helpful if there's not much information about them on YouTube maybe I can do that so just let me know and as I said if I don't get any more palettes in just to throw out there I know I have the um, shroud cosmetics or yeah it's shroud now it used to be strobe I have the creepy cute and divinity palette on its way and then give me glow is also dropping a palette I don't know when I'll be getting that but I think it's going to be later this month and then also give me glow is dropping a pastel collection in the mystery box this month I don't know when but again if that comes in I'll be putting that here to use but if not I do know the first palette I'm reaching for is a Juvia's Place the Tribe palette to get some more use out of and I do want to do a three looks one palette video just because I love that palette so much so I want to get some use out of it and enjoy it and do a video for it so anyway so anyway yeah that is kind of my plan for eyeshadow palettes when it comes to this next month but yeah that's going to do it for my shop my stash for May I hope you guys enjoyed going along with me in my collection both my already makeup collection but also my new to try pile and picking out some makeup to focus on for this month per usual if you saw me pick anything that you definitely would like to see a review on see me mention at the end of the month see me do a video on anything like that leave it down in the comments I always like to get feedback from you guys to know what to focus on when it comes to you know what kind of content I'm going to be putting out in May so feel free to leave any recommendations suggestions of video ideas what have you down in the comments and yeah I think that's going to do it for this video per usual if you enjoyed it please hit the thumbs up button on your way out it helps me in the whole youtube algorithm if you want to see some more content from me i do have an instagram account called lady katie 92 you can check out and follow if you want to and yeah thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to check out another one of my videos i really do appreciate it and i will see you very soon in my next video bye guys